They fly, breathe fire, and are scary as hell. Most of the time. How do you know? My magic timepiece. Who's a good boy? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie and television dragons. Number 10, Safira, Aragon. The time of the dragon riders has come again. This film may have been widely panned, but it's still made almost $250 million worldwide. And you can't deny that this fantasy adventure film features one of the most magnificent dragons ever. Thanks to its CGI work, Zafira truly comes to life. I'll be the judge of that. Whether you're a kid or a kid at heart, you can't help but wish for a special connection of your own with such a fantastic creature. Not so bad at all. Number 9. Mushu, Mulan. Mushu, awaken. He may be a lot smaller than you'd imagine a dragon to be, but Mulan's protector is a true hero with a big heart. What? What? I'm a real dragon! The blue-horned Chinese dragon may have his faults, but he's got good intentions and he's extremely funny, due in large part to Eddie Murphy's voiceover talents. I'm doomed! And all cause Miss Man decides to take a little drag show on the road! He doesn't only help save the day, but is justly restored to his former role as a guardian spirit. <laughs> Number 8. Draco, Dragonheart Thanks to its stunning visual effects, for Draco in particular, this fantasy adventure was nominated for an Oscar. Voiced by Sean Connery, the dragon possesses such realistic detail and human-like personality. How do you like the right so far? We can't help but feel his pain, kinda like how he feels ours too. Half my heart to make you whole. It's strength to purify your weakness. Meanwhile, his one-of-a-kind partnership with Bowen makes us believe dragons would make wonderful human companions. Ready or not, here I come! Number 7. Drogon, Rhaegal, and Viserion, Game of Thrones. They miss their mother. They want to be with you. We first see these dragons as newborns during Game of Thrones Season 1 finale. But it's in season two that we see a relationship akin to mother and child between Daenerys and these mystical beasts. Where are my dragons? While they seem small at first, don't be fooled. These little dragons have got a flaming bite, are loyal to the core, and grow up quickly. I can't wait that long. Number six, the Hungarian Horntail, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Though there are several dragons in the Harry Potter series, including Rubius Hagrid's Norwegian Ridgeback Norbert, Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> it's the Hungarian Horntail Dragon in Goblet of Fire that really stands out. To learn the ways of the wizard, our beloved Harry battles the flying, fire-breathing creature in an unforgettable scene. The majestic beast doesn't only instill fear and courage in the wizard's heart, but also elicits thrills, excitement, and inspiration in ours. Number 5. Shenlong, Dragon Ball With a name like Dragon Ball, it's not surprising that dragons are important to the series. But it's Shenlong, also known as Shenron, who makes our list. You who have disturbed me from my slumber, speak and name your first wish. Not only does this larger-than-life divine creature have wish-granting abilities, it's also what the characters hope to summon once they've found all the necessary Dragon Balls. Simply put, there wouldn't be a series without it. Number 4. Vermithrax Pejorative, Dragon Slayer Even though this fantasy flick special effects may seem out of date, they actually astounded many in the early 80s. In fact, Dragon Slayer's use of Go Motion animation earned them an Oscar nod. 
So, the filmmaker's decision to allot a quarter of their budget to this kick-ass dragon was certainly well-founded. With its cool name, swooping wings, and threatening look, Vermithrax is everything you'd imagine an evil dragon to be. Number 3. Maleficent – Sleeping Beauty When it comes to cartoon villains, you can't get any more menacing than this. What a pity Prince Philip can't be here to enjoy the celebration. <laughs> After the mistress of all evil's plans to bring death upon Princess Aurora are foiled, she transforms herself into a dragon so scary, it's unquestionably haunted the dreams of many kids. <laughs> The beast is so evil that even after Prince Philip puts a sword in her chest, she makes one last attempt to eat him while falling to her death. Number 2. Toothless – How to Train Your Dragon Though there are lots of scary dragons in this DreamWorks fantasy flick, at its core is the friendship between a young Viking and the night fury he calls Toothless. Huh. Toothless? I could have sworn you had... <laughs> Teeth. The dragon doesn't only show Hiccup the truth about their kind, but also develops an unlikely bond with the team. We're gonna take this nice and slow. Position three, no, four. Toothless's original and cool design and lovable nature so moved audiences that he later made his way onto TV and will appear in two movie sequels. Number 1. Smog, The Hobbit Trilogy Since an unexpected journey is only part one of the Hobbit trilogy, the main antagonist doesn't actually appear that much. Such wanton death was dealt that day, for this city of men was nothing to smog. However, the presence of the smart but evil, gold-loving smog is definitely made known. What beast? Well, that would be a reference to smog the terrible. Chiefest and greatest calamity of our age. And the Fire Drake will undoubtedly be shown in all its glory in the sequels. So, anyone who knows the book and the animated 1977 musical TV special knows Smog is the ultimate fire breather, gold and gemstones encrusted belly and all. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite dragon? We'll stop at the next rock pile! Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top tens. Thank <laughs> you.